Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title down below, we're going to talk about productivity and mindfulness and the tools or things that I use which keep me productive or which keep me centered in terms of mindfulness when it comes to the beginning of the year and right throughout the year. So um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I will be using uh, this year when it comes to productivity and mindfulness. So we're talking things like stationery, talking things like journals, that kind of thing. If you are interested in this kind of, um, you know, these kinds of videos, please let me know and I'll do more of those. But I felt like this video is very, very important, especially for the beginning of the year, because this is the time where we think about like, okay, if I'm going to be productive, what do I need? What do I need to pick out? You know, parents are picking out stationery. Stationery for me is a huge love. Like I absolutely love stationery. I love journals. I love all those kinds of things and um, I thought that I would share my love for stationery with you guys and recommend some things that are available right now that you can pick up in terms of increasing your productivity or just making being productive more fun and also things that are really really great for mindfulness and thinking back and um, you know, jotting down your thoughts, your day, uh, just being thoughtful and cognizant of what you do throughout each day. So if you are keen on seeing this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Duh. You know exactly what you need to do. Please keep watching. So we're going to start with the things that are really, really important for me when it comes to being mindful. So being mindful for me is being aware and keeping cognizant of what it is that I do or say, or, um, you know, it, my experiences through each and every single day. So being mindful also incorporates my faith and my spirituality. Uh, devotion is a very, very important part of being mindful for me. And, um, I wanted to share with you some things that are available that you can pick up uh, that I use and especially for me being mindful centers around me being in my bedroom because this is the space where I wake up in the morning and I go to bed at night so at the end of every day what happened through that day what am I aware of what am I cognizant of what am I grateful of throughout that day or even in the morning when I wake up and I do my prayers in the morning and I have a devotion for each and every day these are the books that I'm going to show you that I have next to my bedside table inside my bedside table in the drawers that I use each and every single day. One of them is a book that I have used uh, last year and I want to use it again because in terms of devotion it was very powerful for me, especially when I would um, pray and then read the devotion for the day. Definitely re want to reuse it this year. And then the other ones are just just journals of uh, thoughtfulness and mindfulness and jotting down my thoughts each and every single day. So we're going to get started with those ones. <laughs> so the first one is this one. This is a book from Marion Williamson. I'm pretty sure I must have mentioned this book or put it down on my Instagram at some point. This book is really, really one of the best devotional books that I have picked up ever and I've picked up a lot of devotional books but this one is one of the best ones and this is the daily devotions and uh, reflections by Marion Marian Williamson I really really love this and I used it last year but I do not want to lie I did not use the whole thing so I feel for me this is really really great it isn't dated or anything like that, but every single day there is a devotion for every single day and you read each page as you go along. So because I didn't use it every single day, I think I used it for a good maybe two months. And yeah, so I'm going to pretty much start off where I left off with this. I, I already have. And I love this because I can jot down notes in it. I always have a pen with me after I pray in the morning and I read a devotional and I always jot down notes. You can find this one at exclusive books. It's really, really good, especially if you want to just, you know, get in touch and be uh, more uh, connected to your spiritual side. This really, really will help. It's a good one also keeping in terms of mindfulness mindfulness thoughtfulness being cognizant i picked up this which is the five minute 
uh, mindfulness journal which I absolutely love as you can see that's how it looks and I picked this one up from uh, take a lot actually uh, the Marion Williamson one the, the devotional is about 200 and something and this one I think I picked up for about 150 or something from take a lot and each and every single day the first page actually just says begin with a grateful heart and already it just has me thinking ah, yes I already have started writing in it and I wouldn't want to show you what I've written but basically on each and every page you have the date for today and then there's a little bit of a quote so the last quote was the secret to change is to focus Focus all of your energy not on fighting the old but building the new and then in the a.m. you write so right after I've used this I pick up this so that means I wake up extra early hey before I go to work but these things are very very important for me so right after I put down the devotional I pick up the uh, thoughtfulness and mindfulness journal and in the a.m.s it says three things that I'm grateful for today and then I write that down and then two things that would make today great write that down my morning affirmations which is very very important to me and my daily goal that i want to accomplish every day and then in the pm th three things about three great things about my day were and then i write it down and what i could do more differently to make to tomorrow even better write it down and my evening affirmations are and I write it down so it's the same thing each and every single day and it is really great to look back on this and look back on what you said in the morning and if at all it correlates with how your day was given the fact that you were thinking about those things in the morning and did you actually put them to use throughout the day but the last one that I pick up but this one I only pick up in the evening time is this one and you must have seen this on my Instagram page this is the becoming guided journal for discovering your voice by Michelle Obama I picked up the becoming book and I'm currently reading that and sitting over there it's literally sitting over there uh, I picked up the becoming novel and I started I started reading it uh, during December but I also saw this and I picked this up as well this one retails for about 275 and this one is beautiful because on the inside I'm just gonna take this part out so you can see it's pretty much simple and it's written becoming on the top there and then on the inside it says your story is what you have what you will always have and it is something to own and then it says the story belongs to and then you write your name so on the inside there is little bits of writing in which you can read from Michelle Obama which is so so nice um, and then on each day that you date it and you say what's your story and how have you learned to embrace it and then you answer it and then the next day is when did your story take a sudden turn and then do you have any favorite quotes and you capture them on there it is really a beautiful journal with quotes here and there that are just ah, they, they're amazing to just be thoughtful and be mindful and um, know that your story matters as well that's one of my biggest mantras of this year knowing that your story matters and this quote from Michelle Obama, there's a power in allowing yourself to be known and heard, in owning your unique story, and in using your authentic voice. And there's grace in being uh, willing to know and hear others. This, for me, is how we become. I mean, are you joking? And then there are general journals. For me, these are general journals where I write down in terms of productivity so what I'm gonna do for work time management how I'm gonna you guys know that I bullet journal uh, last year was really really great I was bullet journaling my bullet journal was very colorful do I even have it here I don't think I have it here but my bullet journal was very colorful and I would draw and be artsy with it and I would put up snaps of me drawing and blah 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 but this year I really just will not have the time to do that I've got so much I'm going back to school I am um, yeah I'm going back to school I'm getting into a new business venture so I really won't have the time to be very artsy with my bullet journal however I will be making it more minimalistic very simplistic and there's easy ways to do that and uh, yeah so and so for that I picked up two notebooks and I picked these up from exclusive books as well the reason why I go into exclusive books for notebooks is that I am a uh, 
paper crazy person i know a lot about paper i know the types of paper there is you know and obviously i walk in there wanting either a uh, dotted journal or a lined one or a grid journal or whatever but um the certain type of papers that i like to write on uh normal journals um papers from your stores like typo and things like that they normally have a gsm paper of about 80 which is very very not great quality paper whereas when i'm doing my bullet journals you have to get really good quality paper and you're looking at anything between 100 110 120 gsm paper or above so at exclusive books is normally where i can find this kind of um th these kinds of journals with this kind of paper so the first one that i picked up is from a brand called my notebook and it's literally written my notebook at the top there and this one has a 100 gsm paper which is not that bad the reason why because with my journals i typically use this these so i use um what do you call these things not cookies. What do you call these things? Brush pens. I use brush pens. I use color in my journals. This is, I'm actually balancing everything on my office desk. So I, I use a lot of color with my journals and my productivity journals. So I definitely use need good quality paper because if it's that 80 GSM, then the, the, this is going to seep onto the other side and then it's a problem and then I don't like it and then I'm fussy about it. So I picked this one up and it is beautiful. The, the feeling of this here, it feels so good. It feels so good. But when you open it, it's black and it's got a little sleeve, which I really like. This sleeve is awesome because you can bookmark with that sleeve, which is really, really nice. Um, and on the inside, it is a very crisp white dotted journal which i absolutely love and at the top it's got the different types of weather so you can circle or cross what the weather was like on that day which is really really cool but for me i'm going to be using this as my minimalistic um bullet journal for the year and you can actually close it up like that which is also quite nice uh, i typically then just slot the pen in right there where the sleeve is and i just leave it like that this uh retails for about 200 rand 250 yeah this retails for about 250 rands um it's great it's it's normally the prices of journals that you will get at places like typo and things like that but if you look closely the quality of the paper is not the same so maybe you might have learned something today so this one is for the new um sort of like business venture that I'm going into and uh, jotting down tasks, blah, 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 and all of that stuff. Basically how a bullet journal works. And this one is jotting down thoughts, ideas, appointments. It's the same thing. It's slightly smaller. This one I think was about 190 or something. And I really was drawn to the colors. I like the colors. They make it easy to open it up and have a look at it so that's pretty much the things that i would use for mindfulness and productivity productivity as well i'm including these pens uh i pick these steadler ones up from pna can pick these up from pna cna if you're somebody i'm very visual in terms of color when i am more productive when i see color on my page i'm more inclined if i'm working with color i'm more inclined to keep writing and keep going um if i'm not and then get bored and things like that and i'll just want to leave it another important thing are sticky notes sticky notes and flags these are flags right here and these are sticky notes with different colors they're very very important to me and i'll show you how and why because uh this is my journal from last year and i got this one from typo and the reason why these are important is because yeah i did a lot of let me let me show you so there's a paper here and it's got a sticky note here of all the things you know and sticky notes even here on the corner here and a lot of color a lot of color on the page because i am very very big on color and i really used this journal quite a lot um last year i really really liked it and i i I rely on things like journals and notebooks because I have to write things down. Yeah, but the whole page is written in different colors. As you can see, that is pretty much how I think. I'm very visual and colorful in how I 
you know, do my stuff. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in terms of if you want to pick something up that will make you, you know, if you want to um, just be more spiritually inclined to be more aware of yourself and your surroundings and your emotions and whatever, definitely pick up the mindfulness stuff. But if you're somebody who likes stationery and blah, 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 PNA is really great for stationery. Uh, I've got pens and stuff, but I left that pen case at work. But it's got really, really great pens, like expensive pens, but it's got really great pens. Um, and you can pick those up at your typos, and your ty maybe not, not so much typo if you want like good pens, but uh, PNA, CNA, and um, that kind of stuff. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, definitely let me know. But until then, I'm going to go and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to give you a little bit of a snippet of what my office desk looks like when I am working so that you can see see typically the things that I use when I'm sitting and working on my office desk. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!